This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. DFX is published by Tiffin. You can see their website at tiffinsoftware.com. This is available on their website. It's $499.95. And what the filters in this bundle do is simulate more than 2,000 popular Tiffin glass filters. It is the definitive set of digital optical filters for video editors and visual effects artists. Let me show you what we can do with some of these filters. For instance here, that's a lovely shot just to begin with. We don't need to do a whole lot with it, but there's a lot we can do should we want to. Tiffin gives us first different looks that we could say this gives us a bleach bypass look or uh, cross processing, make it look more like film stock or add film grain to give us some texture in the background. But the one that I like is the HFX diffusion. Here, for instance, diffusion. Look at uh, her skin. I'm going to grab a diffusion filter, drop it on top of her skin. I've just softened that a little bit. This is what it looks before. This is after. Okay, it's just brightened the highlights a little bit. Now, for me, I don't particularly care for this because it washes out the hair a little bit too much. We can change the blend mode. By the way, be very cautious about using an additive blend. It causes your white levels to go over 100%, which will cause you problems in cable and broadcast and DVD. Stay with screen. And we can control it by adjusting the settings. But for me, although diffusion is nice, there are better options. Just to give you another option, look at Glimmer Glass. This is a pure romance filter. This is before. This is easier to see than it is to explain. Look at how it's just lightening everything and giving it a sense of life and vitality. Maybe a, a, a retrospective, a memory of a, a girlfriend long past, perhaps. And again, we've got controls over this. Okay, that's glimmer glass. But the one that people think of the most when they think of camera filters is ProMist. What ProMist does is it softens skin tones without causing black levels to elevate and without causing the whites to blow out. It is very close to magic, and I remember spending a lot of money for glass filters to put in front of the camera to be able to do close-ups and give this kind of look when I had to commit to it in the shoot because it was impossible to do in post. This is before the filter, and this is after. Before and after, and we can tone that down if we want to. We can, in fact, where we start to have real fun is in slightly warming up the filter. I'm going to click on the color chip. I want to warm this filter up so it has more of a, a golden cast by picking this color right here. What this does is look at how we took it from a not bad shot to begin with. We added a warm Pro Mist filter. She's gotten this wonderful glowing look, fashion model look. And we've added a little bit of skin color to it to give us a warm touch so that not only is she glowing, but she's glowing with a healthy skin color. And we can control that by this color setting here. We can also add or adjust the amount of brightness again. We can look at the output or we can look at just what we're adding to it. Pro Mist is really cool. Another thing that we've got inside this package is um, something a little bit different. I'm going to look for the word center. I've got a center spot. As editors, one of the things that we have to do is we want to control where the viewer eye looks. So I'm going to select the spot. And if I grab this circle and drag it right up to her eyes, right there, then the first thing you're going to look at as we play this back is going to be her, her eyes, which are in focus. And after that, you'll look at the rest of the shot. Or if I look at that right there, you have to look at her face. You have to look at her eyes. Everything else is out of focus. But by moving that center spot down to the phone, your eye is going to go to the phone as opposed to her face. By changing the focus of the scene, it forces the eye where to look. Let me just show you. Grab the center spot. Cue the bear. Cue impressive bear movement. Drop center spot on. And select the clip. Drag it up to the bear's face. And we've added the depth of field 
There we go. We've added a depth of field. Your eyes got to go to the face of the bear. Everything else is blurred back. When you go to the girl, select the girl. If I grab the circle, drag it down to the phone, your eye has to go to the phone. It can't look anywhere else. It'll check the phone first and then look at the girl. That's what I was referring to. The product is DFX and the company is Tiffin Software. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins in Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 129. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.